It's Christmas again, that wonderful time of year when we celebrate the life of Santa Claus and bask in his holy glory. Since the holidays tend to be hectic for everyone, I thought I'd help out by highlighting a few amazing deals I recently found online. The following video is a slideshow of the most interesting Nintendo-based items currently being sold on eBay. The first item up for grabs is a rather strange costume, perhaps crafted for Halloween or maybe cosplay purposes. If you're not completely turned off to an overly sexualized representation of a tiny cartoon dinosaur, then this adult-sized Yoshi outfit might just be for you. And if you want to raise the creep factor a bit higher, you can throw a pair of Mario panties into the mix. At just under $10, the price isn't too bad, but personally, I'd pass. The last thing I want to see near my partner's genitals are signs of fungal growth. Perhaps you're interested in cheaper means of Mushroom Kingdom roleplay. These outstanding plastic masks are only about 20 bucks a piece. Talk about money well spent. This is quality craftsmanship that was meant to last a lifetime. Or maybe you don't want to obstruct your entire face. If that's the case, consider buying one of these officially licensed 25th anniversary Mario mustaches. Again, they're only 20 bucks. This merchandise is priced to go. Switching gears, we'll now take a look at some random oddball items. Does anyone remember the live-action Super Mario Bros. movie from 1993? Of course you do, it was a box office juggernaut. Well, now you can own an authentic piece of Hollywood history. This is a rare, special edition Goomba figure, unboxed for only $225. This next item is kind of cool in a legitimate way. I used to own one of these gaming watches back in the day. It was a sad alternative for us kids who were too poor to own a Game Boy. It's basically a Tiger Electronic handheld game, shrunk down to a postage note size screen. I'd buy one for nostalgia purposes, but 60 bucks is a bit too rich for my blood. Speaking of those old Tiger games, here's a brand new one, Castlevania II Simon's Quest, complete and packaged for only 500 bucks. It might not play as smoothly as the NES original cart, but it is missing those annoying day-to-night transitions. Want some cheaper gaming-on-the-go options? For less than $8, you can be the proud owner of Mario Kart Super Circuit, a Wendy's Kids Meal toy from 2004. Who needs a Nintendo Switch when you got this? Better yet, you can hit the streets for real in this life-size Mario Kart for only $900. Bonus weaponry and Lakito life support not included. Do you hate being stuck in the dark? Are you also a huge fan of Luigi's Mansion? If so, then this $2,000 flashlight is just the item for you. Better buy it quick though, there are currently 34 people watching this auction. If you're on the market for some dirt cheap Mario memorabilia, you can always grab a few of these $2 birthday balloons. Bear in mind that Mario's proportions are a bit distorted though, and the handle placement is somewhat suggestive to say the least. If you're looking for a Mario doll, there are numerous options available, though most of them are fairly hideous. Check out this plush rubber hybrid, for example. Supposedly, it's an officially licensed Nintendo product from 1989. But if you ask me, it looks less like our hero plumber and more like Donkey Kong. This rare, vintage Mario plush from 1988 looks even worse if you can believe it. It's supposed to be another officially licensed product, but that seems questionable to me. It has the appearance of having been handcrafted by a blind person. Speaking of handmade items, at least this seller admits to selling a cheap, unauthorized knockoff. That $10 price tag's a bit steep though, and there's an additional charge of $250 for shipping and handling. This is the funniest doll of them all. Note the auction title says it's a vintage keychain. Is that supposed to add some sort of legitimacy to this auction? Nothing about this item looks authentic, and to add insult to injury, the cost of the item plus shipping and handling is nearly 30 bucks. On the positive side, it's the size of a battery, so it would make a fine stocking stuffer. If you're searching for a much larger doll, here's a 44-inch Luigi plush toy for only $345. Buyer beware though, it's only available for local pickup, so you'll have to drive to Bloomfield, New Jersey to get it. $20 for an officially licensed Tingle plush doll? I think I'd rather buy that vintage Mario keychain instead. Tingle is the Jar Jar Binks of the Zelda universe, the absolute worst thing to ever plague the land of Hyrule. If you happen to get stuck with any Tingle merchandise this Christmas, you might want to throw it away in an official Legend of Zelda trash can. Again, this is one of those items that's kind of cool in a legitimate sense, 
but 50 bucks and climbing is a bit out of my price range. Speaking of throwing your money to the wind, you can buy this vintage Nintendo ceiling fan for only $6,000. If you use your eBay payment plan, it'll only cost you $289 for 24 months. Better grab it now though, there are currently 15 people watching this auction. And while you're basking in the crisp, cool air of your brand new Nintendo ceiling fan, you can sip on a nice cold glass of Mario brand lemonade. It's only $125 a can. If you're on the market for more edible nostalgia, I'd suggest eating a healthy bowl of expired Nintendo brand cereal. But unfortunately, only empty boxes are being sold on eBay. This one has a starting bid of only $50. I did find a listing of some Zelda fruit snacks. That's the box and the pouch. I believe the candy is still inside, and I'm sure it's just as chewy as the day it was manufactured. This auction is going for a slim $5,000. Once again, I'm amazed that 14 people are watching this, but maybe they're only following the item out of curiosity to see if it actually sells. We've got a pristine set of 9 Mario Pogs here. The asking price is $17.99, along with an extra $4.99 for shipping and handling. I swear, everyone on eBay thinks they're holding on to solid gold, and every auction is labeled with buzzwords like rare and vintage, antique, classic, and so on. I can't honestly imagine the Pog market is very lucrative these days. Need a place to store all your precious Mario Pogs? How about buying this flashy Legend of Zelda tote bag? It's only a hundred bucks! Once again, I don't know if this is an actual officially licensed product or some homemade item, but that's part of the fun of eBay. It's like the wild wild west of questionable merchandise. Is this Nintendo coin purse legit? It looks official. But maybe I'm just being tricked by that exorbitant price tag. 820 something dollars. If a hundred coins buys you an extra life, then it would take over eight lifetimes to buy this purse. That's some scary math. Going back to school? For $9.58 you can buy this vintage Nintendo school folder. I actually like this artwork. I think it's kind of cool. And I used to own one of these folders back in the day, so I'm not really going to goof on this auction. I just wanted to use it as a segue to our next school-related item. This is a Nintendo Power spiral-bound notebook featuring both Link and Mario. Note that the item is listed in good condition. That is a very liberal use of the word good. And that price tag is atrocious. $33.95 when you include shipping and handling. Some people are just insane. Need to scrub away all the dirt and grime from a long, hard day? Why not buy yourself some official Nintendo bubble bath and shampoo from 1990? It's literally like bathing in nostalgia. You can score both these bottles for a very low, low price of $150. It's dangerous to go without shoes. This pair of Zelda slip-on vans are new in box and only cost $116. If you're a size 13, you'd be stupid not to buy these things. Now we're down to our last two items of this video. First. There's a musical item that's probably more of a showpiece than an actual instrument. I wouldn't know for sure, I don't know many people who know how to play the ocarina anyway. But if you love music, and you've got a thousand bucks to burn, you could always pick up one of these and give it a try. And finally, we have a six inch Metroid figure from Jack Pacific that's listed at ten grand. That's only $481 for 24 months if you use the eBay monthly payment plan. Note that 40 people are watching this auction, and 17 units have already sold. There are only two left, so you better grab yours before they're all gone. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Now go forth and buy presents, for Lord Santa commands it. Happy holidays, everyone. Later.